What's going on guys? It's Dime and today we're going to be remaking the sheath. This was the first knife sheath I ever made. There's a lot of mistakes with it. This loop is too loose so the knife can wobble. I should have put it down low against this ridge right here so that it can't so I'd lock it in place. I didn't run this leather all the way down go down into the pocket so it just not doesn't look good the stitching's not very good and everything so we'll be remaking this in a little bit different style I'm gonna be incorporating that into the next sheath as well to hold this fire starter on there it's a nice little Damascus knife somebody had given me this was handmade I'm not sure exactly where it was made or who made it it's a nice heavy duty little knife though. I like it a lot. It's uh, got some nice patina on it. That blackening on it. It's got a little surface rust. I'm gonna hit it with some, uh, maybe some 400 sandpaper and oil and then we'll hit it with some never dull. See how it turns out and get this sheath built. All right, here's my couple pieces of leather. I'm gonna be cutting the welt out of this because it's a lot more of a rigid, solid leather. And then we'll be making the sheath out of this leather. I'm gonna be doing uh, kind of where the snap is built in to this back layer of leather where it has a little flap that comes up on both sides. That'll go over it. And this is going to be a fold over sheath instead of having this seam on the back. It's only going to have the front seam. So yeah, let's get to uh, tracing this out. I'm using this as a general shape for these lines right here. All right, we'll get that strip cut first, and then we'll start kind of shaping out where those snaps will fold over and how the lip will fold over the blade and everything. So, if y'all haven't seen a video I did a couple weeks ago, I made this leather sheath for my X-Acto blade and extra blade storage for it. Y'all can check that out. All right, here's the basic shape so far. Got that, it's gonna be the belt loop. Kind of see, there's gonna be, this strap is gonna go a little lower, but it's gonna be incorporated. That's where it folds over. And same with uh, this side. I'm about to do that out of this sheath now that I got that basic loop shape done. And then this is gonna be folding over as well, so. Let's get to that. There's going to be a little bit of sketch in here, just drawing it out. Thinking about how it's going to go. I'm going to have to slim this, this piece of leather. I think I'm going to have to cut it at an angle a little bit. So that I can get these to fold in tight enough to hold it. And that lip not be in the way. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set this out, mark the width of the knife, and then slice it down at an angle.
All right, I got this cut out the shape I want. I got these couple holes punched. Those are for the buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and get those put on there and then we'll move on to uh, folding everything over and getting the welt in there and getting everything stitched. It's gonna fold like this and that'll have a button and that'll have a button. That's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so that one will fold over, and this one will be the top snap, so we'll get it on there now. Now I gotta line everything up for the stitching. Start with this strap in here. Go ahead and get that stitched on, and then I'll get back to y'all when I'm punching the other holes. I got the holes punched and everything. Now I'm gonna fold it over and start sewing it. Get these first couple stitches in here and then we'll fold that over.
All right, last thing I'm going to do before I call this done is I'm actually going to put some stitching in. I'm going to put uh, maybe a little like square type of deal in here. So I'm going to punch that out real quick and get that sewn in and then we'll be done with this. Alright y'all, let's see how this all fits in here. Start off with that knife. See how well this strap works out for me. I wanted it to be a tight fit so it doesn't wobble around and slide up and down in there. I'd say that's pretty good. It's a nice tight fit. Let's see how this fits on here. Perfect. Got that angle lined up pretty good on there. All right, you guys, that's a finished product right there. Knife fits in there pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this blade with some Never Dull. Shout out to the Knife Doctor for showing me this stuff. I would have never found it if it wasn't for him. So shout out Knife Doc.
Alright, looks pretty good. It's nice and smooth. It feels good. Slides into the sheath pretty well. Wish that would have been a little bit tighter, but can't change that now. This is nice and tight, so the knife isn't going anywhere. It's a lot better than where we started with this one, I'd say. I'd say that's an upgrade right there. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, uh, drop a like, comment down below, tell me what you think, how I can improve my content in the future. Uh, to stay up to date with new videos, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, this has been Dime. Thanks for watching.